Aman Rahim, I am going to discuss a very important algorithm for the management of the herpes in pregnancy. Okay, so first of all, uh, when the patient comes with um, recurrent uh, genital herpes, then we will treat episodes with the standard dose of acyclovir if necessary. And by the standard dose means there is there are different uh, doses at different uh, times of pregnancy. And I will explain those doses to you in the next slide. Okay, so uh, first of all, uh, consider acyclovir 400 milligram TDS from 36 to 40 weeks of gestation and continue that till term if uh, the patient develops herpes in the third trimester. Then offer vaginal delivery as it is the recurrent herpes, so offer a vaginal delivery and normal post-operative care, no, normal postnatal care. Postnatal care is also very important, okay? Uh, sometimes the questions comes related to that as well, that what type of postnatal care will be provided. So if patient comes with a recurrent, happy, happy, um, recurrent genital herpes episodes, we offer a vaginal delivery, give normal postnatal care. But if the patient is having genital herpes simplex virus lesion at delivery, then we will give normal postnatal care, discharge home. But if the baby is well at 24 hour, advise parents regarding the later management if any concern. Okay, uh, means we will keep the baby for 24 hour for any observation. This is when the patient is having genital herpes lesion at the time of the delivery. Okay, now coming to the uh, uh, right side a little bit, when the patient is having primary acquisition of the genital herpes in the first or second trimester, treat primary episodes with a standard dose of the um, acyclovir and uh, consider acyclovir 400 milligram TDS from 36 to 40 weeks. Okay, so if uh, the patient develops primary herpes not in the uh, not near the time of the delivery, but in the first or second trimester, means she is far away from the delivery. In that case, we will give her just acyclovir, and we will manage her in the third trimester in the same way like we will offer vaginal delivery and manage in this way. But if the patient is having primary acquisition of the uh, herpes in the third trimester near the time of the delivery, then treat primary episode with the standard dose of acyclovir as before, but consider acyclovir 400 milligram TDS until delivery and recommend planned cesarean section, especially within the six weeks of delivery. Now, here important point is that here the uh, at 36 to 40 weeks of gestation, we just considered 400 milligram of the TDS, um, acyclovir TDS. But here we will also consider 400 milligram of TDS till delivery, but we will recommend cesarean section as she is near to the delivery, especially within the six weeks of delivery. Now, what will we do next? If vagina delivery ensures informed neonatologist, then if the baby is well, then start acyclovir 20 milligram uh, per kg TDS for 10 days while awaiting the results. So this dose is also very important. Okay, the baby dose is 20 milligram per kg TDS for 10 days while awaiting for the result. But if the patient is unwell, baby is unwell, sorry, then we will perform lumbar puncture for herpes simplex virus PCR. So questions come related to this topic as well, that if when the baby is unwell, in case of the primary herpes, then what will we do? We will do uh, sorry lumbar puncture for herpes simplex virus PCR in case of the baby. Now I come uh, to that side, to the uh, right side. Informed neonatologist in uh, normal uh, postnatal care, discharge home if the baby is well at 24 to uh, 24 or advise the uh, parents regarding the later management if any concern. Okay, so we will inform the neonatologist. So that is that was very important um, algorithm taken from the BASH guideline about the uh, herpes. Now coming to the acyclovir doses in chickenpox and herpes. Herpes simplex infection in the first and second trimester, 400 milligram three times per day for five days and start again from 36 weeks until delivery. Herpes simplex virus infection in the third trimester, 400 milligram three times per day until delivery. Intrapartum dose of acyclovir if patient with a herpes, 5 milligram per kg every eight hours herpes simplex uh, mother delivers recommended dose for the newborn uh, 20 milligram per kg TDS for 10 days while waiting for the results chicken pox 500 milligram five times per day for seven days or 800 milligram per day for five days okay so that was a little bit summary of the herpes simplex in pregnancy and these are very important charts thank you so much